Hello everyone, welcome back to this year's D3 2022. This time it is in summer, unlike last year where I did it in winter because I completely forgot this series even existed. Now to start off for our news now, because we're not even going into anything else, because you know, you can already see me in a different model, and because I want to add this into the Sherry Arbor story playlist, our first story for today obviously will be about Sherry Arbor story's progress and the plan for after that. So. Sherry Opera Story, by the way, if anyone doesn't know, is a light novel series that I'm currently writing. I have 14 volumes planned, and I want to try and at least get the first one out within this year or the start of the next year, depending on how plans go. So, the progress so far is I just finished editing volume 11 again, well, actually editing over the volume from the first time writing it for the first time in a while, and now I will be moving on to volume 12 which will need a lot of re-editing and rewriting just because of what I did in volume 11. So that is simple, that is that. Another thing I must say whilst we're here is that I am also getting more concept arts done. I have at least one more concept art that I need to get, uh, or I'm waiting for, uh, that will come out hopefully sometime around the 22nd of June, and it'll be based on another character in the series. Don't worry, I'm not doing any repeats as of right now. Because there are quite a few characters in the actual light novel series itself that I want to make sure that people have some visual of them to know what they might be like. And now the plan basically is to keep editing the series until July. Then once July hits, I think I'll just keep editing it for a bit longer, maybe look into how to... Like, what I need to do to get the story corrected over first before I start to try and either still publish the story or give it to a publisher to try and see if they'll take me on and let me publish it through their means. So yeah, obviously there's all that and as I mentioned in between that obviously in July I will be going on holiday. So the likelihood of the series actually being published and complete within July is kind of, it's not there. I'd say sometime in August is when I'll probably take it more seriously, along with trying to actually find a job, which of course I'll have more about that uh, when we move into D3 a bit more. So, the next thing I wanted to say now, because I got the Sherry's Arbor stuff out of the way, is that I want to thank everybody for the huge support on the Joseph and Flyer channel. The, the Joe's Night Flyer channel, I swear, went, went from, like, what, what was, was it, like, I swear, like, 60 or 70 odd, like, subscribers, and, like, in a matter of, like, I think a week or two, it went all the way now to 100, I don't even know, I can't even remember now, but it was definitely 10 subscribers, I think 11 subscribers away from the Night Flyer now. It is huge to know that Joe's Night Flyer has finally joined the triple digit clubs in terms of subscribers, and I hope to keep making, oh well, I say making, but I hope to keep uh, uploading VODs to the channel whilst making some of those VODs into movies and then making this occasional video like this to try and bring back <laughs> like what Joseph Night Flyer used to be. Now, I must say as well, a big congratulations to um, the FNAF movie that I uploaded because that has 35,000 views as of recording this. It is mildly just gone so far above what the copyright troll video was and I'm so glad that video has been dethroned as the king because I hate that video. I despise it with my being and I'm glad something better is in its place. Other than the fact that this is a pre-recorded video and not live, yes it is still not live even though I could go live, I want to talk more about VODs and Twitch itself. Because obviously on Twitch I've also been gaining a few followers here and there as well. We just, we just hit 58, 58 followers recently, recently and if, if I hit 60, 60 followers, there's, there's some, some, let's just say, follower goals that I have in the uh, panels, panels below my Twitch, Twitch channel. channel. If you want to check them out, uh, I'll, I'll be updating, updating them every so often as we hit the goals. So, back to the main point about VODs. So, VODs, as you, as you may have noticed, on Joe's Night Flyer and The Night Flyer have actually been, like, the only thing that's really been consistent on those channels and the main reason why my channels even like started gaining more traction in the first place it is a blessing but it's also a curse at the same time because if i upload like a normal video now i don't know if that's detrimental to the channels but you know what i'm still gonna do it anyway because i am arrogant now when it comes to the amount of vods i've been outputting it can slow down a bit and it definitely like won't exist like i won't be making any or doing any streams during uh, my holiday 
because, you know, I'm going to be on holiday and I literally will not have my equipment to be able to do such a thing. Maybe if I log into Twitch on my phone, I might, but like, nah. And I'm even still on the borderline about if I should even record the holiday or not, but again, I'll talk more about that later once we reach there. But I've also been thinking that maybe, depending, I could have a VODs channel, but at the same time, there is the Flyers archives. Which, yes, some VODs have actually gone up on there, because for some reason, some streams that I've done beforehand, before, well, like mainly just Life is Strange, were all copyright claimed, even though I turned that option off. But you know, thanks Square Enix for the option anyway. Thanks for the sentiment. And yeah, so, I don't know. Like, there's a potential I could do a VOD channel, but... There's also a potential that I could do a Sherry Aubers channel. There's also a potential that I could just merge channels together. There's also a potential that I could just delete channels. Because you have to think of it this way. I have four channels. I think the biggest push for me would be if I were to stop either doing clips for the clips channel or if I was to stop doing Destiny content for the Night Flyer, like if Joe Night Flyer overtook them. Well, at some point, like I need to probably reassess this and see what would happen. But if anything, I definitely would have to delete the channel, well first mer well, merge, I need to download the content, re-upload it to either the archives, Joe's Day Flare, or the Clips channel if it's a clip that I can upload, only because, well, the actual URL has the channel's names in it. So if I renamed one of those channels and repurposed it, for example, for like Sherry Arbor Story, which wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, it wouldn't really work out. If anything, I should probably just change the name of like the Joe's Night Flyer channel to Joe's Night Flyer dash Sherry Arbor Story like I have on my Twitter page, which you can see obviously at Joe's Night Flyer on Twitch. Twitter. Sorry, I said that wrong. Now, I've basically talked about VODs. I think it's time to talk about normal videos and I'm going to be real with you. I don't even know if there's going to be time for videos, but I will admit this is one of those odd times where I'm actually glad that I'm recording a video and not streaming yet. Because it just feels nice, you know, like I can actually get out of streamer mode and just go back into editing mode. Now, I'm not going to lie though, I'm recording this now, but I'm definitely going to edit this tomorrow. I'm not going to edit this like today. Sorry, I just swore on D3 2022. Please, don't fire I have to say, like basically, I, definitely for the Night Flyer, I should definitely make more videos for that because I don't always stream Destiny, so there's not always a Destiny VOD going on that channel. And plus, like, the Joe's Night Flyer channel is like... God, a ridiculous amount of, like, VODs up. I think it's, like, 11 or 12 VODs and videos ahead of, like, what's currently going up, like, today is... Well, I'll actually tell you today's date. It's the 16th. Which is just mad to think about. So, uh, yeah. Next question, kind of... They're both kind of tying into each other. So, what's coming for the rest of the year? And is the 9 to 10 series really the end? So, first, let me answer uh, what's coming at the rest of the year. So, what is coming for the rest of the year is basically VODs. The odd occasional maybe meme uh, with Sherry Arbor story. I do have something I could also do to upload to the channel, but I'll tell you at the end what it is because it's a kind of surprise. It's this year's big reveal, just like there was the PC reveal a few years ago and the reveal of the concept art that was meant to be this stream. But <laughs> I actually said stream, it's unironically. But you know what I mean. It was meant to be the big surprise for the end of this, but obviously the artist is having problems, so I don't want to like push them, I don't want to seem like an asshole. So I'm just going to let them do their thing and I'll get to work eventually. And I'll just make a separate video like I usually do anyway. So make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on Sherry Aubrey's story, by the way, the light novel series that I'm working on. Now with that plug out of the way, what is coming for the rest of the year? Easy list, VODs, Sherry Aubrey's update, or Sherry Aubrey's story update, Maybe more Destiny videos on the Destiny channel. Um, I, I think like Honey Pops clips till hit uh, for till Kingdom Come because honestly, I looked at the clips channel and there's like so many clips that's leaked into like July already. If I keep up at that pace, I'm actually gonna just like I'm gonna be finished with the Honey Pop like uh, like chopping up and I can literally upload it like a Honey Pop montage to this channel as well. But speaking of which, I'm also planning to do like I've actually started editing. Sorry. The best of 2022, and yes, it does include the Night Flyer, Joseph Night Flyer, and may include some Twitch clips this year, along with the Flyers clips on YouTube as well. Obviously, the archives is out of the question. The archives channel is literally just for copywritten content, um, if a video gets age restricted as well, and for various other bits and pieces that I don't need on my computer anymore. So yeah. 
And now for basically the final question of this whole D3, is the 9th to 10th anniversary really the end? As you may know, the 9th to 10th anniversary series is still kind of ongoing. I haven't actually really edited much since I think like the Honey Pop series for the channel. But there are a few 9th to 10th anniversary ideas that I can still do it in stream form and I could upload it as a VOD instead. I know like, Would You Rather was definitely one of them because I did Would You Rather ages ago and I did it as a stream. The only problem is that obviously it's not edited so if you don't want to watch that, that's pretty cool. That's all right, you know, you can do what you want. You can just wait for videos because videos may come eventually. <laughs> I can't guarantee it anymore, but may. Um, But is it really the end? Now, if you told me, asked me this in March, I would have said yes. The 9th to 10th anniversary series for the Joe's Night Flyer channel would be the like the end of me doing YouTube. But since May, I have been streaming consistently from the 15th until today, which is obviously the 16th. So I've basically stream, like consistently streamed for over a month now. And with that, obviously I moved VODs over the channel and you know, it's all big and different, right? So now I'm not sure anymore. I'm not doing things like I used to. So the likelihood of me actually stopping doing YouTube at, like when the 9 to 10 series actually ends depends on a few factors. So like if Sherry Aubrey's story takes off, which I really hope it does, if that takes off as a, like a light novel series, obviously I'll be working on that a lot more than doing YouTube content and Twitch streaming. Which, by the way, my Twitch is twitch.tv slash josephnightflyer. But other than that, the only other reason I can think of the channel stopping is if I get an actual job. Which I do, again, plan to try and get an actual job in July. Let's hope it goes better this time, because I will, like, hopefully just be bombarding different places constantly to try and get a job. So I can work behind the counter for, like, 10 quid an hour. But yeah, by the way, quick news about that, actually. Uh, actual news during D3 that's not related to me. Uh, they're actually going to replace the uh, minimum wage with living wage, which is going to be interesting to see how they implement that in the next few years and how that will affect me. But anyway, sorry. Uh, so the 9th to 10th anniversary series will probably be the end of me. Well, even now, it's kind of like we're in an era where I'm not making as much videos anymore. I'm just making a lot of, or like uploading a lot of VODs to the channel instead. However, that doesn't mean that I can't relax myself a bit more with YouTube after that point. So maybe on Joe's Night Flyer's 10th anniversary, I'll give you a proper answer because obviously by that time, like, I'll actually have an answer. But I think from then on, I'm just gonna, I probably still like upload memes, stuff about Sherry Aubrey's story, I probably won't bother with Destiny content anymore, unless I'm streaming it, then I will do it. And I probably won't even bother with like VOD thumbnails anymore and sorting out the descriptions and stuff. I think I'm just gonna upload them raw the way they are. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this D3 2022. Please do not leave yet because we have a big surprise that even I'm surprised with myself that I managed to do something like this. So, before you go and listen to it, I'm going to play the whole thing, because it's like it's kind of like a video you'll see in a minute. I want to say, if you did enjoy this, and if you do actually want to see this next year, make sure to subscribe to the channel, not just for this, obviously, but also for the VODs, for the Sarah Albert story as well. And also like and comment if you did enjoy the video. Thanks again so much for watching this D3, and now I leave you with this little surprise.